Have you ever wondered about miracles? What they are, why they occur, and the profound impact they could have? These are the questions that often fill our minds when we ponder the miraculous. Miracles are a central aspect of Jesus' ministry, not just random acts, but profoundly intentional demonstrations of divine authority and expressions of the kingdom of God. They are acts of compassion, yes, but they are much more. These miracles affirm Jesus' teachings and reveal His identity as the Son of God. They provide us with tangible evidence of divine power at work. Picture a world where the sick are healed, the dead are raised, storms are calmed, and thousands are fed with scant resources. These aren't mere acts of magic or illusion, they're miracles. In essence, Jesus' miracles are divine interventions that break the natural laws of the world, pointing us to a higher reality, the kingdom of God. Let's travel back in time and witness some of these miracles in the order they occurred. First, we see Jesus healing the sick. He touched the eyes of the blind, the skin of the lepers, the limbs of the paralyzed, and they were healed. As the Gospel of Matthew recounts, when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? This wasn't just the curing of physical ailments. Each healing was a sign of the kingdom's presence, breaking the bondage of illness and restoring individuals to their communities. Next came the feeding of the 5,000. With just five loaves of bread and two fish, Jesus nourished a multitude. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. This wasn't merely a magic trick. It was a profound demonstration of Jesus' concern for both the spiritual and physical nourishment of his followers. Then, we witness Jesus calming the storm. With a simple command, quiet, be still, he silenced the winds and stilled the waves. This wasn't just about weather control. It was a revelation of his divine authority over nature and a profound lesson on faith to his disciples. Lastly, Jesus did the unthinkable. He raised the dead. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? He asked. This wasn't just a defiance of natural laws. It was an affirmation of his power over life and death, and a proclamation of the resurrection and the life. These miracles were not just acts of power, but were signs pointing to the reality of God's kingdom and Jesus' identity as the Messiah. Now, imagine being there, witnessing these miracles firsthand. How would you react? The spectrum of reactions to Jesus' miracles was as diverse as the miracles themselves. On one end, there was awe and faith. People were astounded, their hearts touched, their beliefs affirmed. They saw the lame walk, the blind see, the dead rise, and they believed. This man, Jesus, was truly the Son of God. But on the other end, there was skepticism and hostility. Not everyone was ready to accept these signs. For some, the miracles were a threat, a challenge to their power, their status quo. These miracles were disruptive, unsettling, and for those unwilling to believe, a stumbling block. So, it's clear that miracles, in all their wonder, were not universally accepted. They stirred the hearts of many, but also stirred up controversy. Miracles, therefore, can be a call to faith, but they can also be a stumbling block for those unwilling to believe. So, what about today? Do miracles still happen? As we navigate our modern lives, the relevance of miracles might seem distant. Yet the miraculous is not confined to the pages of a millennia-old text. While we may not witness seas parting or loaves multiplying, we can still experience the miraculous in our everyday lives. Perhaps it's an answered prayer when we're desperate for guidance, an unexpected blessing when we're in need, or a profound spiritual experience that fills us with awe. These moments, though they may not defy the laws of nature, carry a touch of the divine. They're gentle whispers of a greater power at work, subtle reminders of a loving force that moves in and through our lives. Each of these instances is a modern-day miracle a testament to the enduring presence of the divine in our world. Miracles, in essence, remind us of a greater power at work in the world, a power that invites us to believe, trust and hope 